guys, Mahat here, and I'm sorry if you guys were wondering when I was going to review the Diary of Wimpy Kid second part. Well, here I am about to review it. So, why don't we just begin with the video? Let's start with the sixth book, Cabin Fever. Greg and his friend Rowley were caught leaving green splotches all over the school wall and the police officer who caught them thought they were vandalizing. But they're actually really innocent. They were running a kind of a shop called a Holiday Bazaar. What? And they were putting up posters to tell people that they were, they were having a Holiday Bazaar. Let's start with the good news and the bad news. The good news is that they were, their posters were neon green, so they could be seen from far away. But the bad news was that it started raining and when they put their posters down, they were leaving green splotches everywhere. And now Greg thinks he's a criminal. Well, that's good. But he doesn't have to think about the police for a little more while because it started snowing so much that they were trapped inside their houses. And there is no more of a worse punishment than being trapped inside your houses with your family during the holidays. And Book number seven is The Third Wheel. Greg's school is launching a Valentine's Day and it's gonna be pretty hard to find a date to the dance, especially because there are more boys in this school than girls and none of the girls like to go out with the dorks, but that does not stop Greg from trying. Oh no! Till this day, Greg thinks that if he had not gone to the dance, his Saturday would have been really good, that he would be it at his home playing video games, but... Book number 8 is Hard Luck. Greg and Rowley have become ex-friends and according to Greg, it's been better off without him. So he uses his free time to explore in his house and he makes some pretty big discoveries. First of all, he explores in his brother's room and finds a magic 8-ball. This 8-ball leads him to his mom's cupboard and he finds some really, really huge discoveries. Then there is one thing, one thing that might break up their whole family, but the magic 8-ball leads to the source of the breakout and he just fixes the whole family. And is in Book number 9 is The Long Haul. Greg's mom surprises everyone by putting up a road trip. Estimated time on road, 47 hours and one minute. And this is not going to be an ordinary road trip because Greg's mom is the in charge. And Greg's mom is one of those women who like to make every moment of their children's lives a teaching moment. And this is going to be kind of hard for Greg. I mean, he's there are going to be some bumps along the way. But no one can stop that from happening, especially not with the Heffley family. Nuh uh. And her is in her Let's do book number 10 Old School. Again, with Greg's mom, she wants the whole town to stop using electronics for 48 hours. That's gonna be hard for Greg and the kids in that generation. And if you think that's the end of Greg's problem, well, it's not. Greg is going on a field trip and there's a crazy farmer on the loose called Scylla Scratch. It's going to be hard for Greg to survive this summer vacation. These books were written by Jeff Kinney. Hi, my name's Jeff Kinney. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell and also drop a like on this video. Before I leave you guys, I am going to be starting a new section in my videos which is going to be called Fact of the Day. Well, here's the fact of the day. A bottlenose dolphin has a brain bigger than a human's. Goodbye! Hard luck. Nay. Ah. Greg's school is low. Greg and Rowley have become. Let's do book number 10. Book number 10 is Old School. That's all what? What are folks? 
He's crazy. 